Yo, so we just landed in uh, Tasmania. Yo, so we're out going to get a rental car now. It's actually really cold in Tasmania right now. Anyway, let's get this car. Yo, fam, what's up? So we are in our rental car right now, and it's like pouring down in rain so I don't know if it, was, if it was a good idea to actually wear these crocs because they actually have little holes in them to put those gibbets or whatever. Uh, what's our plan now Raquel? Are we gonna go to the Airbnb? Yeah Airbnb? it's probably better to see the Airbnb first. So that's the X-Trail that we got not a bad car. What is up guys so we just arrived at our Airbnb out in Rodney I think that's what it's called. Oh it's so nice it's by the water but the actual, um, what do you call it, uh, the Airbnb is kind of behind the house so it doesn't actually get the view but oh man this place is beautiful, it's by the water I gotta admit though, uh, I think right over here, that place there I think that's sort of like a, a separated indoor pool and I can, we can like hear people inside and <laughs> at first we were like oh my god is it like is this place haunted and stuff but I think it's just kids um, in an indoor pool having fun and stuff so we're going to be doing a little bit of a Airbnb tour now. It's actually quite nice. Let's have a look. That's a little cottage, really nice. You get you go walk down these stairs, you get this little courtyard here. And over there, that's the thing. It's sort of like a, I don't know what it is. It's just all by, really by the water. It's so close. Can you hear that? Anyway, so going inside, this is what it looks like. Let me, let me. So you can see there's like a little kitchen there. Kitchen, so if we want to do some cooking, nice cabinetry. And then, yeah, we got that little living room space there. We've got the TV. It's really nice and cozy. There's Raquel. This is a bed. Ooh, we got air conditioning. And this is the bathroom. Ew. There's your boy, A. Oh, there's like a, oh, this is where they do the laundry. So yeah, oh look at that little skylight guys. Oh I can see the sky and the bird poo. It's got a little radio guys, pump out some jams. And it's got the little cute table for two. Pretty happy with this place. Raquel chose it. Look at her. She's wearing all ACG now. Whoa! Uh, Raquel said that it's actually $200 a night here. What? Uh, mainly because uh, we booked it pretty late and there was nothing, there was literally only very very few choices left but this is actually really nice especially with the, like, the skylight anyway let's get on with this video shall we I'm still wearing the Crocs Man, this is a game changer. No joke, guys. It's like so easily accessible as well. I got the hiker one if you guys didn't know. So today is our second day out in Tasmania. Today's plan is we're going to go actually to the Mona Museum, a place that I've been wanting to go for several years because I've been to Tasmania a couple of times, but uh, I think I never just had the chance to actually go because we'll be going to Launceston, Devonport and all those other places, but never so much to Hobart. And uh, yeah, I just never made time to go to the Mona. So we're going there today. I think Raquel got confused because she thought the only way to get to the Mona Museum was through the ferry. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I saw it driving before and all this kind of stuff but yeah we're, not, we're just gonna drive there which is only I think it was like a 20 to 30 minute drive away from our place so this is my fit to go to the Mona we got the Nike ACG puffer jacket the Prima Lock also got the Devastation shirt on underneath and I've got the I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> I've got the Smith Summit pants on as well. So I've got like a whole ACG fit going on while I'm wearing the um, <laughs> Hiker Crocs. Uh, I think it's a good fit. When I uh, was looking at the weather reports and stuff, I thought like, oh, I won't be that cold, but it's a different chili uh, over here. I remember I was speaking to Chase beforehand and he was like saying, yeah, it's cold. It's like a different like cold compared to Melbourne like when you breathe in the air here it's a little bit like different it's like more dry so yesterday we had um <laughs> we just got uber eats because I think it's like everything closes really early here or in this area anyway around eight o'clock or to nine eight to nine o'clock so I think we even got Mexican last night so it was definitely okay we we're trying to watch this movie as well chippy but we both fell asleep <laughs> anyway let's get going to moon now shall we
Oh my freaking gosh, I can't believe this. The first time I walk out with it today, guess what freaking happens? Oh, I stepped in freaking some poo. I don't know whose poo this is. I don't know if it's dog poo. Or oh, far out. <laughs> yeah. Drop your shoes first before wiping. Just turn left onto Chapman Street. Oh, we should have walked there this morning. It would have been so nice. Yo, what's up guys? So we just arrived at the Mona, but we're just by the water. I'll let you guys have a look. So just down there is all water. So it's pretty nice. So we're wearing my Crocs. Yay. So if you guys didn't know, uh, basically you have to make a prior booking. So when you book it, how much was it? $40. So it's $40 each and I think it's like a two hour session each as well. Yo guys check out this view. This is the entrance to the moon. that's just full of uh, blank books <laughs> as you can see here so just blank books <laughs> about the Mona so far? It's, um, yeah, it's good. It's weird. The artworks are weird. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a huge museum here at uh, Mona. A couple of questionable stuff. Like, there's actually right there, behind this wall. I don't really want to get it, but it's all just um, sculptures of the ah! <laughs> So, I might take some close-up photos of that later. <laughs> That's a 2,000-year-old mummy? This actually scared me. <laughs> I put my face through there. <laughs> that was basically it. We're just finished with the Mona now. We're going home to the car. Fantastic. Uh, $30 actually. So I think it's not bad. In terms of all the exhibits and stuff, it was, yeah, no, it was a really interesting. A lot of kind of tasteful stuff. Something, something I could, maybe I can't um, appreciate as much but there's definitely a lot of very talented artwork there would i go again uh yeah maybe <laughs> maybe a couple of years <laughs> i might go again So we are here at Mount Wellington. Pretty nice place. Definitely really chill.
are in. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yo, what's up? So we just made it onto uh, Dove Lake uh, at going towards Krill Mountain. So far, I think it's been like a an hour and a half, an hour up uphill. <laughs> it was a pretty tough battle, but it was really nice. Check out the view, guys. So that's a Dove Lake right over there, and then I think Krill Mountain's up here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's lots of different tracks that you can take, but um, we just went for the three-hour in all one pretty tough especially if you haven't don't really hike <laughs> but it was, it was really rewarding there's a lot of great views here and yeah we had a lot of fun doing it anything to say <laughs> so currently walking towards the lookout up there that looks like Lord of the Rings stuff. <laughs> huh? So we're currently on the way to Mount Doom in Lord of the Rings. As you can see up there, it's a long and treacherous journey, but we're going to be going get my precious. So we made it to the top of well, one of the summits for Krail Mountain, I think. Well, the best that we can in the time that we have because we know that the last bus is at 6 o'clock and it's currently 3 o'clock and it might take us around 3 hours to get down, so... Yeah, it's not bad. It's beautiful. Yo, so we made it. Was it worth it? Thanks once again for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.